If you see a pattern of a repeating shape that covers a surface without any gaps or overlaps, it is called a tessellation. The repeating shape is called a tile. A simple checkerboard pattern is a tessellation made of squares. The squares meet edge to edge with no gaps and no overlapping areas. The pattern of bricks on the wall is a tessellation made of rectangles. Ancient Greeks and Romans were decorating their homes with tessellations over 2000 years ago, making elaborate mosaics from small square tiles called tessera. Early Persian and Islamic artists also created spectacular tessellating designs. A Dutch graphic artist, M.C. Escher, is known for his detailed, realistic prints that achieve bizarre optical illusions, including tessellations. He took tessellation concept to a completely new level, from pure decoration to some conceptual and philosophical creations. The archaeological record shows many examples of sophisticated tilings used in the decoration of flat surfaces by ancient artists. This particular Moorish pattern inspired M.C. Escher in his tessellation exploration. In order for tessellation to work, the tile should be based on a geometric shape that can tessellate itself. The tile should be very precise to fit seamlessly into the tessellation. This particular tile is based on an equilateral triangle. The three pieces that you see outside the triangle came from that triangle. Let's check out how basic geometric shapes can tessellate. Rectangle or a square. Can it create a tessellation? Looks like it works. So yes, you can base your tessellation tile on a rectangle or a square. What about rhombus? Yes. A circle? Hmm. Does not seem to work. All these gaps in between. Unless we add some extra shapes to fill in the empty areas, circle is not going to tessellate by itself. Triangles? Equilateral triangle. Yes, it's possible. Isosceles triangle? Yes, but you are limited to only two sides to work with. Trapezoid. Yes, we can make it work, but also with some limitations. Pentagon. Nope. Hexagon. Absolutely. Works beautifully. Octagon. Nope. Doesn't work. So here are the basic shapes that can tessellate. Rectangles and squares. Rhombus. Some triangles. Trapezoids. Hexagons. But only two shapes will give you plenty of options to construct a tile. Square and hexagon. There are three types of tessellation tiles you can construct. They are based on how you handle the cutout pieces. Translation tessellations are the most basic ones. You attach the cutout pieces to the opposite side of your tile by sliding them directly across. Rotation tessellations. Instead of sliding a cutout to the opposite side, you rotate it around the corner. Reflection tessellations. Similar to translation type, but as you slide the cutout to the opposite side, you flip it. So here are the three types of tessellation tile construction. Translation, rotation, and reflection. Now that you know so much about tessellations, let's make some.